Hi everyone, good evening. Welcome back to the reading practice session after the weekend. So let's begin with today's practice session. Yes, I think there was a mail as well for the mail was sent for the basic video for prepositions and connectors, I suppose. The reorder one was uh, shared on the YouTube. Reading reorder. Fine. All right, so let's begin with today's questions. And here you have your first question on the screen. You have two and a half minutes to solve this. Once you solve, please post your answers in the chat box. And I request all of you to please, please time yourself. It's very, very important that you put a timer of two and a half minutes for yourself. And once we start the discussion, please do not post anything in the chat box after that. And every question will be discussed two times. Please make sure that you are ready with your pen and pencils or papers to make notes for the discussions. And when we are discussing, please don't bother much about whether your answer is right or not. Even if your answers are correct, you have to understand the reasons and the methods and the shortcuts which you might have not used, right? So all the same things again, two and a half minutes and now you can start solving your first question. Are you guys able to see the question on the screen or not? Okay. Half of you, okay. Those who are not seeing it, maybe you can just check your internet connections once. Love just try your uh, connection, checking your connection because rest of you, I think, rest of them, I think they are able to see it.
All right, should be done by now. Let's discuss. Please put your answers, those who are left. Okay, so this says residential real estate provides one of the most dash human needs, which is shelter. So this is a basic context-based plan. Everybody's right in selecting basic because we all know that food, clothing, and shelter are the most basic needs of human beings. This is everybody very general and general knowledge answer here. So one of the most basic human needs, which is shelter. We cannot say most main because with main, we don't use the word most. Something which is main is main. There cannot be most main or lesser main. Extraordinary shelter is not something which is extraordinary. Shelter is something which everybody requires. And humbly, we don't really need adverb here. We are looking for what type of need it is. That is why we'll go with basic need. Am I audible enough to all of you? All right. When the world shifted to everything from home due to the pandemic, that place of shelter took on many more dash. So with many more, the answer has to be plural. When we look at the options, name, sameness, identities, and congruence, there was only one single option, which is identity. The rest, all of the options are singular. So yes, identities would be the answer, even if we don't understand the meaning, which we cannot really do in the exam for each and every plant. We have to be quick, we have to be using shortcuts. So with many more will come a plural answer and that is identity here. The home is now the dash point in many of our lives representing where people work, shop, school and exercise. So focal point is a collocation. Focal point is used to refer to a place which is the central place, which is the main place. Uh, when you want to say that this is the most important one. So then we use the word focal point and that is used in reference to a place. It is also used in reference to a time in life that this was the focal point in my life, but very rarely. Most of the times it is used for places. And here it is being referred for the place home. That is the central point, central place in everybody's life. Because people are working from home, people are shopping from home, they are school, uh, getting their education at home, and they are also exercising at home. The other options that we have, focus point is not a collocation. Centerpiece is again used for uh, articles. This is a centerpiece, means a very rare article, a very important article, a theme. An attentive point, attentive is used with mind, that how focused you are, how active you are, that is used for attentiveness. So here it will be focal point. For homeowners who have built up equity, you might have considered dash that equity to renovate your space. If you were confused about the answer, when you looked at the options, you had two options in ING form and two options without ING form. The first thing you should ask yourself is, do I need ING form of work or I need the answer without ING form of work? This is the right way to think on answers. This is the right way to analyze. You do not have to really just look at all four options and put them one by one. Try to analyze and try to shortlist. Now you can create a sentence, similar sentence, like you might have considered dash her. So can we say you might have considered calling her? You might have considered call her. So what is more appropriate? You might have considered calling her. We need ing form of work. You might have considered dash the phone, mobile phone. So you we can say you might have considered using the mobile phone. We won't say you might have considered use the mobile phone. That is why we don't need first forms of verbs because the sentence structure holds up you are asked to fit ing form of verb. And then consider dash that equity to renovate your space. So that equity, equity means the money that we have saved. Our savings are being referred to as equity here. So it will be tapping that equity. Tapping is a word that goes for resources. Tapping resources. You might have heard this in geography sometimes. Tapping resources. Resources and tapping means use of the resources in some way so that you are. Sorry. So tapping the resources is making use of the resources when you use something to. Um, 
to fulfill any need of yours that that is when we use the word tapping resources we cannot just touch the resource we cannot touch the money and our home will be renovated we have to use that money to renovate our homes consider tapping uh, that equity to renovate your space dash match your current needs so that is the same thing that i said so they are using that money to renovate your space why are we doing that dash match your current needs for comes with matching for matching current needs in view of this kind of conclusion like in your essay i think we have this in view of the arguments outlined above so in view of means concluding during comes with a time period we are not talking about any time period after the blank so we will go with in order to means this is the purpose for using the money for using the equity the purpose is matching your current needs so it will be in order to match your current needs so these are the answers the first one shelter comes under basic human needs so that is why we will go with shelter most basic human needs which is shelter second one many more comes with plural so it will be many more identities rest of the other three options were singular third one focal point is a collocation so that's why we have selected that focal point means the central point and the last one consider tapping the equity equity here is the resource which we have to use and for using the resources the right word is tapping the resources and the last one why are we using that resource why are we using that money in order to match your current needs for comes with ing form of verb in view of is used when you want to refer to something or when we conclude something and during comes with a time period so these are the answers any confusion in anything and if we have not discussed that we can talk about that if you just want a repetition of like blank four again blank five again then you can go with the after the class finishes the video is uploaded on your portal so you can go back to that question that particular blank and then you can listen to the explanation again any other doubts anybody apart from repetition all is good thank you so here you have your question number 2 on the screen and you have two and a half minutes again for this please post your answers once you have solved and then we have a discussion again
All right, should be done by now. Let's have a discussion. Please listen to the explanation. Just don't mark your answers right and wrong. Otherwise, you'd have to go back to the videos again to re-listen to what were the reasons for the answers. So this question says, in the last several years, free print servers have become attractive to publishers. The sentence is absolutely complete. Whenever the sentence is complete and we have a verb written before or after the blank, then in the blank, we put adverb always. So adverbs are the words that end with ly. The sentence says, free print servers have become attractive to publishers. It is a complete sentence. Become is a verb. So we will go with adverb. The answer is increasingly because that's the only adverb that we have in the options. Extensive, considerable are adjectives. More often comes with second form because more is second form. So that is used in comparative statements, statements that have than in them. That is why the first answer will be increasingly attractive to publishers as strides dash. So strides could be understood as the word may be um, to better understand. You can take it as efforts or you can understand it as steps have been taken. Like we say, we have taken steps in the same way the strides words can, a word can be understood as taking steps. We are talking about steps dash. So if we look at the options, has comes with singular, but strides is a plural word. So we cannot put has, we need have in that case. If we say strides are making, that will mean steps are making. So steps are making is wrong. Steps cannot make anything, but we take the steps. So are making is wrong. Are being is wrong in English. The only correct answer therefore is have been made. This could be understand as steps have been taken. So for steps, we use the verb take. For strides, we use the verb make. But the understanding is the same way. If they could have written, they have become increasingly attractive to publishers as steps have been taken. In the same way, strides have been made. Because we have taken the steps. We have made the strides. We have made the efforts. So that is why it is have been. Are been is wrong English. There's no tense like are being made. Are making makes the context strong. It will mean efforts are making. But efforts don't make anything. We make the efforts rather. And has comes with singular. That is why it cannot come with strides because it is plural. Such as the signing of digital object identifiers that make free printers a better, more trackable form of scientific communication. Moreover, with the COVID-19 pandemic dashed the globe. So COVID-19 pandemic is taking the globe, sweeping the globe, brooming or reforms. With the COVID-19 pandemic, we cannot say brooming. Brooming is like we broom and mop. That is brooming. Taking. Pandemic is not taking the globe anywhere. But yes, we can say pandemic is sweeping the globe. Sweeping means sweeping what is used when you want to say affecting a lot of people at the same time. Having a great effect. Great in the sense affecting so many. Effect, having an effect at large. So having uh, affecting the whole community or the entire globe, everybody that is called sweeping. So with the COVID-19 pandemic sweeping the globe, the scientific community has seen free prints play a major role in enabling the swift relaying of research results. Dash with a comma. So we need a connector here. When we look at the options, does although as in according to it was very easy because although does not come with a comma. As in does not come with a comma, according to does not come with a comma, the only option that comes with a comma was does. Although comes without comma, as in also comes without comma and moreover as in is used when we try to explain what we said in the previous sentence that is we use as in for to further explain something. And accordingly comes with a comma, according to does not come with a comma. So thus was the answer. Thus, there is a lot of excitement over the future of free prints and how they could dash the scientific publishing landscape. So with could, could is a modal, should come first form of verb with all the modals, can, may, could, would, should, will, shall, always comes first form of verb without the word s. So here, two options will be eliminated. This has s, this has ing. 
So we have change and transform. Both of them are synonyms of each other. So we have to select based on which is more academic. Transform is more academic than change. So that is why we go with transform. Change is a general word. Transform is a more academic version of the word change only. That is why it will be how they could transform the scientific publishing landscape. So I'm repeating the answers once again. Listen to it carefully. The first one, whenever the sentence is absolutely complete, even without the blank, and before the blank, we have a verb, or after the blank, we have a verb, then we use ly form of verb, which is adverb. So it will be increasingly, that's, what, that's why it will be the answer. Strides should be understood as efforts. So we have to say efforts have been made because efforts or strides is plural. We cannot put it with has. Efforts are making, doesn't make sense. Efforts are not making anything. And are being is wrong English in itself. Sweeping means affecting. So we have to say with the COVID-19 pandemic, affecting the group, affecting at a very large scale. Then out of the connectors, only does comes with a comma. Uh, all the other three do not come with a comma, so they cannot be the answers. And the last one with all the modals, can, may, could, would, should, will, shall, comes first form of verb without S. So that's why converts cannot be the answer. ING cannot be the answer. Out of change and transform, transform is more academic. That's why we go with transform. And this is no rule that transform can only come when you have into written. That's one use of transform. That's not the only use of transform. So if you want to put reforms at number three, did you read the sentence after putting reforms there? So it says, moreover, with the COVID-19 pandemic reformed the globe. Does it make sense? If COVID-19 pandemic reforms the globe, like you can say, um, with students clean the room. Is it right English? With students clean the room, comma. With students cleaning the room is right English. The same thing, frame sentences so that you get to know the different use of tenses. Frame similar sentences to give yourself examples that should I put ing form, should I put without ing form. So that will help you to realize which answer you need. Right? No, however, does it fit here because however will fit only if you go contrast and we are not going contrast. We are going on the same side that they are playing a good role. That is why there is excitement. There, there is no opposite going here. V1 with the models, we use V1. Right? Any other doubt in this question? However, comes with a comma. However, always comes with a comma, but here it cannot come because we are not going contrast. All right, so here we have question number three on the screen, two and a half minutes for this, and then post your answers in the chat box, please.
All right, should be done by now. Let's discuss. He says it was tenth of miles wide and forever changed history when it dashed into Earth about sixty-six million years ago. <clears throat> so we have collided, crashed. Intersection is not what we need. Involved also not what we need. So when we read the context, we come to know that they are talking about something crashing or colliding with the Earth. So here they say collided, crash, intersection. We don't need a noun. We don't need involvement here. Out of collided and crash, if I ask you what is more negative, what is something having more disastrous or devastating impact? Collided is a bit lesser uh, impacting than crash. Crash is a word which signifies more um, damage, more negative than collided. So collided, we also use that the two cars collided into each other, the a car collided into the tree. That's also hitting. But if you want to say that it was a very, very bad accident, then you would rather use the word crash. A car crashed into the tree. That means it was a severe damage. Then we use the word crashed over collided. And here, because whatever happened, it led to the ex uh, extinction of species of dinosaurs. So this is the biggest natural impact that we have had till now. So that is why it's better to go with crashed over collided. Grammatically, both are fine, but contextually, go with a more negative, more devastating impact word. Then they say it left behind a crater off the coast of Mexico that spans 950 miles and goes 12 miles deep. Its impact brought the reign of the dinosaurs to an abrupt end. So then the sentence is again complete, its impact. So still we have a blank here. And impact is a noun. That means we want to have an adjective here. What kind of impact it was. Adjectives always come when the sentence is complete and after the blank, we have a noun written. So it's now, it's impact brought. Impact is a noun. That's why we need what kind of impact. This is a negative scenario going on when we look at the options. Incredible is a positive word. Charismatic is a positive word. Overwhelmed is a positive word. The only negative word that we had was devastating. And this answer is being selected on the basis of positive and negative words. That's it. So it's devastating impact brought the reign of the dinosaurs to an abrupt and dash end. So what kind of end? What one word describing the end is it was abrupt end. And we have we need one more word to describe what kind of end it was. Disaster end, it has to be disastrous end. For disaster to serve as an adjective, it has to be disastrous. Effortless end, we cannot say this is effortless, this is a huge effort. Catastrophe, for adjective, it has to be catastrophic end. Like it is calamitous instead of calamity. Calamity is a noun, calamitous is the adjective form. So you have to be careful about the noun form and the adjective form of a verb before you're selecting your answer. So here we wanted a verb which should serve a word which should serve as an adjective. What kind of end? So disastrous, catastrophic, calamitous. But because catastrophe and disaster are noun forms, we cannot select that. Triggering their sudden mass extinction dashed the end of almost three quarters of the plant and animal species then living on Earth. So one was it led to extinction of dinosaurs, dashed the end of three quarters of plant and animal species. In addition, however, furthermore. So furthermore will come only if we have a comma after the blank as well. We cannot have furthermore otherwise. However, also comes in the same way. Moreover, we are not going opposite. This is also end. The next part is also the end. So we'll go along with. In addition, if you want to put in addition here, we need in addition to the end of. But in addition cannot come because both the things happen at the same time. So when two things happen, say this along with that happen. That right? means both the things happen together at the same time. So together is a very important word here. And that is why it comes along with 
in addition the word together is not justified the puzzle has always been where the asteroid or comet that set off the destruction originated again the sentence is complete puzzle is a noun so we need what kind of puzzle it is the persist puzzle wrong english the persisting puzzle is right persisting means continuing and con persist means continue to exist the steadfast steadfast means strong that cannot come here continuing or enduring both means more or less the same enduring is more academic so we should go with uh, enduring here enduring you can understand as the never ending something which is still not solved something which is still going on that is enduring never ending so the never ending puzzle has always been because it's still like the same always has been the same So listen to the answers again. The first one is crashed because it is more severe. It is more uh, disastrous than the word collided. It's a bit lighter than cra crashed. That is why we'll go with crashed in this form. Second, we needed a negative word. The other three options were positive. That's why we selected devastating. Third, we needed an adjective. The other uh, two, disaster and catastrophe, were not adjectives, and effortless does not match the context. So we we'll go with calamitous. Calamitous means how do we use the word calamity? Like um, floods is a calamity, earthquake is a calamity, uh, drought is a calamity. So that is calamitous means something which is having very severe disastrous impact, something which is through the nature and brings suffering and disaster. Uh, on the planet that is called calamitous so it brought a calamitous end sudden extinction of dinosaurs along with the end of plant and animal species along with which because it also happened at the same time both the things finished together so together we always use with along with the last one the puzzle has been what kind of puzzle it is it is a never ending puzzle because we have still not got the answer to that has been means in present tense from the past till the present we have not got the answer that will be never ending puzzle which is enduring right any questions anyone adjective can be in ing form yes in a furthermore comes with a comma after however also comes with a comma after along with like we put it here without a comma after in addition generally comes in the beginning of the sentence not in the middle of the sentence and yes if it comes in the beginning of the sentence it will come with a comma that's it Right. So here we have question number four on the screen, and you have two and a half minutes for this. Please post your answers once you have solved.
dan okay the cave between this and this was the first decorated cave to be found in this place dash in 1897 so we just have to pick up the main words always remember that proper nouns reading the names of proper nouns is a big time waste in reading so never do that so we are talking about some cave and everybody understands the meaning of cave dash in 1897 the cave we are dash the beginning of the culture so we are talking about discovering a cave unearthed determined unveiling it happened in 1897 so it has to be past tense and out of the options there were two past tenses cave is a physical thing so physical things or physical places are discovered they are not determined determined is find out so we'll go with discovered in 1897 the cave bears dash the beginning of a culture in this region at the end of this time period this most of few have done wrong maybe because it's a collocation bears witness to something is a collocation these three words come together you can note it down in your list of collocations bears witness to bear witness to means it is a proof that something existed in the past is when we use this collocation bear witness to means this thing is a proof that something was there so that is why we cannot put be your existence be your truth and be your demonstrate because collocations are always always at upper hand than the other options if there is a collocation we can never put any other word in that place during an inventory of the material from the archaeological excavation scientists examined a large lampas shell which had been largely dashed when discovered in 1931 so with being comes ed form of verb when we look at the options we have improving ignored overlooked and disguise only one third form of verb so it will be overlooked with being sometimes come ing form also but that's only in active voice this is passive voice so we go with which had been overlooked in 1931 The tip of the shell is broken, forming a 3.5 centimeter diameter opening. As this is the hardest part of the shell, the break is not accidental. The sentence is absolutely complete and even easy to understand. They said this is the hardest part, so obviously this is not an accidental break because accidentally the hardest part cannot break accidentally. So we can say the break is possible. clearly doubtfully or vaguely since the sentence is complete we should look for ly options so it is clearly this is the answer based on simply context because it is the hardest part it can definitely not be accident so definitely means clearly not accidental doubtfully is again the opposite of the context and the hardest part and we are saying doubtfully it can be accidental but it cannot be that's what the context said at the opposite end the shell opening shows traces of retouching that is cutting and the thermography scan has revealed that one of the first coils is dashed so everything is happening in the past we should again go with past option which is perforated because these things have already been happened we are not doing it right now they have already been taken place so it will be the first coil is perforated i'll go through the answers again because we are talking about a cave which is a place at the end of the day so we'll say we discovered the cave be your witness to is a collocation which means that this is a proof that something was there third one largely um well it's not be a largely overlooked because again we are in past tense with being will come ed form of verb and we had only one in the option the fourth one says because it's the hardest part the most hard part so it cannot be accidental so clearly it's not an accident and reveal that one of the first coils is dashed so with is will again come third form of verb coils is perforated vague is something when you say this is a vague explanation vague means without logic without any basis without any proof we are just saying anything which doesn't make sense that is called vague experience or vague explanation right so this is the answer these are the answers the last one with is comes third form because again it's passive voice we cannot put ing there that is why it is first coils is perforated
So Pink, you go through the grammar videos once again to clarify your concept of active and passive because it's not a one liner thing that I'll say a line and you will understand. You will need examples for that. So please go through that part of active passive. And here we are for the last question of reading writing blanks for today and you have two and a half minutes for this. Please post your answers once you have done. Right, should be done by now. The easy one as compared to the others. So, this says researchers have developed a highly effective environmentally friendly method for dash ammonia into hydrogen. So, language is easy. We uh, for comes with ing form of verb. This we have already discussed in the previous slides. So, transpose and persist cannot be the answers. So do we interchange? Interchange means putting in place of each other. That is how we use the word interchange. But here it is into. That doesn't mean interchange. So that will be converting from one form into another. That is the word converting ammonia into hydrogen. The new technique is a major step dash for enabling a zero pollution hydrogen fueled economy. There are two collocations I think with step, step ahead and step forward. Step ahead is to move ahead, means to go ahead. 
and step forward means when you have done some a uh, new advancement some new technology we have found that's how we use the word step forward so it will be this is a major step forward means a major development basically a major advancement that we have done major towards is no collocation major advancement is something that we can write major step advancement is wrong major uh, advancement alone is right and hasil means to do something quickly that is the meaning of hasil we can say step towards but then we don't need for in that case after filling the blanks it's fill after you fill your blanks it is very important to read the complete sentence from full stop till full stop otherwise you will never realize your mistakes now read this the new technique is a major step towards for enabling so either towards can come or for can come both of them cannot come together the idea of using ammonia as a carrier for hydrogen delivery dashed traction in recent years so recent years means the last years means the years which have already passed so for years which have already passed we cannot use simple present tense we cannot use is going to gain because is going to is future so recent years means something happened in the past the idea of using ammonia as a carrier for hydrogen delivery dashed traction in recent years so it will be has gained because the overall topic is in present tense we are using have here we are using is a major step that means we are talking about present starting from past if we will say had been gained that's first of all passive and we our sentence is active so we cannot put had been gained so has gained traction in recent years because ammonia is much easier to liquefy than hydrogen and is therefore much easier to store and transport if you don't want to think about active passive even you can think that the whole passage is in present tense and had is past tense so we cannot select had here that is also a reason for not selecting had this technological dash now this comes with a singular noun always so with this it has to be advancements cannot be the answer penetrates cannot be the answer breakthrough or developing out of these two developing is not a noun development is the noun so we can say this technological breakthrough breakthrough means advancement this technological new thing that we have got overcomes several existing dash so with several the word has to be plural because several means more than one and when we look at the options there is only one plural option that we have which says several barriers right so going through it once again we are converting for comes with ing form for converting one thing into another interchanging does not come with into second this is a major step forward step forward means this is a big development for enabling a zero pollution fueled economy then they said a carrier for hydrogen delivery has gained because we are in present tense and has is present had is past this technological this comes with singular noun so this technological what is technological here breakthrough is the only noun that we have developing is not the noun development should be the noun and several comes with plural and barriers is the only plural option given so that is why it will be the answer i hope it's clear now recent years means for example if we are in 2022 so the recent years can be last 4 5 years that's recent years this comes with singular karam so with this we cannot say advancements it has to be advancement okay the changing of one form into another is called converting if you put interchanging then you cannot say into with that interchange comes with interchanging with the other thing so here you have your first question for reorders on the screen and you have 2 minutes to solve this put your answers in the chat box after 2 minutes and then we have a discussion
Okay, please listen to the discussion for this one carefully so that you get an idea on how to solve the orders. So the first sentence is addressing this global burden is not just a moral imperative. So there is a reference here, addressing this global burden. And addressing means solution. So this sentence is basically talking about solution. Global burden is not just a moral imperative. Investing in global mental health initiatives can produce significant positive economic outcomes with benefit to cost ratios of approximately 2.3 to 2 to 1 across countries. This sentence was a solution. This talks about the positive thing. How can we overcome the problem? Then the second sentence is about 80% of people with severe mental disorders receive no treatment for the disorder in low income and middle income countries and 25 to 50% receive no in high income. So this sentence is giving us the stats, means the details that how many people are not getting treatment. Before this to be a general sentence, a sentence should say that people are not getting treatment. Only then we will explain that how many are not getting treatment which is the basic rule for the orders, general sentence followed by narrow sentence, specific sentence. Mental health remains neglected around the world despite its clear importance to global health economies and human rights. So around the world will include all the countries, high income, low income, middle income, everything will be included. And this sentence just says that mental health is getting neglected. After this, we can say how much is it getting neglected? So this was the first statement. It is clear that we need to implement. So how can you say it is clear? From where is this clarity coming from? This is how you have to read your sentences, analyze the sentences, create questions on the sentences and write down what is this sentence about. This is about solution. This is about problem. This is about advantage, disadvantage. What is the sentence talking about? Only then you can make your pairs. So first sentence tells us that people are neglecting. Then you narrow down, give specifications. How many people are being neglected? So 80% of people are neglected in low income and 25 to 50%, they receive no treatment means they are ne neglected only. So 25 to 50% receive no treatment in high income. So this is how many people are neglected. So when these many people are not getting treatment, from there you come to know that it is clear. So many people are not getting treatment. Only then you can say it is clear that we need to implement. Clear from the stats. We need to implement innovative solutions. So first you will say that we need to have solutions. And after that you will give one solution. Or you will talk about how what all can be the solution. That is why this comes later on. Every time the previous sentence to your sentence should be the general version. First, you say we need solutions, only then you give that what solution it can be. We can invest in global mental health initiatives and this can help us. So everything should have a reason for connecting with each other. Right? Now solve this question properly thinking how we have discussed the first one and you have two minutes for the second question.
Okay, let's read first of all, mark the hints and then I'll tell you the answer. This says, study author Professor K. Sobhapool said, while the relationship between EITI membership and carbon reduction is not necessarily deterministic, the scheme allowed countries to use recovered funds no longer lost to corruption to invest in more sustainable forms of energy and other environmental practices. So this, we have the name of a person, we have this EITI membership, and then they talked about the relationship between membership and carbon reduction. The B sentence says countries that sign up to improve financial transparency over oil, gas, and mining revenues benefit from significant reductions in carbon emissions. A new study by the University of Sussex Business School reveals. So a new study. This is the introduction of the study. And we have not talked uh, in this sentence. We have na not named any one particular country. We are talking about countries as general means countries all over the world. Generally, every country is included in this definition. That countries which sign up for improved transparency, they, they benefit from carbon reductions. While the world average carbon footprint for uh, capita grew by 23% over the same period. So the same period means we have to find out the time period before this sentence. Members of the Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, EITI. Here we have the full, full form of EITI. Have seen their carbon emissions reduced by 13% on average between 2000 and 2014. The first sentence will be B because all the other sentences now EITI cannot come before we have the full form. And the sentence which has the full form only talks about one particular industry, members of one particular industry, whereas the B sentence is talking about all the countries. So what is more academic? Talking about countries or talking about only industry, members of one particular industry? So you always have to put the most broadest sentence as your number first sentence. So first we'll say we talk about countries and after that we'll talk about this EITI because this has the full form. And then we'll put C because C says same period, over the same period and the same period means 2000 to 2014. And that is why it will come right after that sentence over the same period. In the previous sentence, we'll say this 2000 to 2014 and directly refer to the next sentence, the same period. And in the end, we'll have EITI, no, no relationship to be understood as the information. I'm not putting A at number four because of understanding the information. I'm just putting it number four because EITI cannot come before the full name. But in between, we have to refer to the time period. So that is why it will come after that. So this is the right method of doing reorders. If you will keep on struggling with information, you will keep on understanding the information and which may or may not happen in the exam. So try to understand and analyze the sentences and find the hints wherever possible. Right, is it clear now? Direct references are very important. This, that, the same period, they'll come right after you mention that thing. Third question, two minutes for this and then post your answers, please.
Okay, let's discuss. We'll first again have a look at the hints. This student to student format. So we should find a sentence which tells us that there is a student to student format. Only then we can say this after we already talked about this format. Offers familiarity and identification with those who have successfully enrolled in graduate programs across the country. This comprehensive resource. So again, this comprehensive resource means we should have talked about some resource. We need to find out which resource they are talking about and stop using the chat box, please. We need to find out which resource are they referring to. This comprehensive resource shares personal accounts from both peer and expert perspectives to fully illustrate the ins and outs of applying and preparing for the graduate school experience. As future professionals in psychology, readers will greatly benefit from the straightforward and personal guidance offered by the student and psychologist contributors. So in this sentence, they talked about we are getting guidance from two places, from student and psychologist contributors. Applying to graduate school in psychology in inverted commas. This is if the inverted commas are not there, then you can read it as simply a statement. But in inverted commas means this is a thing. This might be a brochure. This can be a, a pamphlet kind of thing. So applying to graduate school in psychology in inverted commas, this thing provides prospective graduate students with the insider knowledge needed to bolster their confidence and gain a competitive edge. So this was the resource. This is the magazine, maybe pamphlet, maybe the uh, whatever uh, you get those. Uh, what are, what are they when you need to get admission in universities they give you that brochure kind of thing so it can be that potential applicants learn the commonalities and differences among diverse student experiences from the variety of academic institutions and programs so here we are getting the information only from student experiences so this is what is called analyzation and then if we put one by one the first sentence will be d because this is the topic that this resource is what they are talking about. And then the second is reference to this resource. This resource means this one. This brochure is what is referring to as this resource. And then there was a sentence which talked about information from both student and psychologist. This will come at number three because after that we are only talking about student. So that is why it will be the narrow version of that. So it will be four. We are only getting information from different student experiences. And this student experience is referred to as this student to student because the previous students are giving their knowledge to the next, to the prospective student. So that is why it is called student to student. Right? So this is the technique you need to learn on how to correctly analyze the information and then only you'll be able to make your pairs correctly. Sorry, this is number five. Okay. So this is the answer. I hope it's clear now. So which WhatsApp group are we having a discussion about here? Samigya. So you don't have to assume Pandey that what is the meaning of personal guidance. Just read what is written there. They said personal guidance offered by the student and psychologist contributors. Means there are both of them there. There can be personal attention given by yes student to student. But what they have written. This is the biggest mistake that students do is they assume things. They, they apply their own knowledge into the information given. That's the wrong way of solving. You only have to read and understand what's given. Only use that information. Don't put your own information into what does this mean and that mean. That will lead to a long understanding. So only personal guidance can be from anywhere. Personal guidance can be from a student. Personal guidance can be from a tutor. Can be from the head of the department. Can be from a psychologist. Can be from a doctor. So you don't have to assume which personal guidance it is. If they are saying it's from student and psychologist, 
let it be that it's from both the places. Okay. So Rabia, please go to from the uh, basic reorder videos that we have um, on the YouTube now. I think we have them available, and you need to watch them at least two, three times and try to understand the concept. Okay, it will take some time. It will take you around two hundred to three hundred questions, and then you can say that yes, I am understanding them. So learn this technique. What we have today discussed is the technique. First, read each and every sentence. Mark what is the sentence telling us. Highlight what that sentence means. What is the perspective behind the sentence? And then read the next sentence and try to understand the story. That what is it talking about? Okay, so we are moving on to reading blanks now. The first question on the screen and you have two minutes for this. Please post your answers once you have done. And I am, I do not know which WhatsApp group is being talked about. Those who are asking me, we can talk about it at the end of the session, please. Please solve your questions right now. First question and two minutes for this.
All right, should be done. Let's get the cups. Good, very well done. So this says just as exercising regularly dash physical health. So we have the answer it promotes. Exercising is a singular noun, so we need a verb with s. This promotes physical health. Focusing on finances regularly will dash in future health. Will pay off. Pay off means will you can understand it and will will get this back. This is what is going to come back to us. Will pay off in future wealth. In addition, a certified financial planner is an dash resource. So with an comes a e i o u. Invaluable resource. Invaluable means very very important. Something of a lot of value. And then, or you may face unexpected financial dash due to job loss. So it should be a negative word because we were, if you lose our job, it cannot be anything positive happening to our finances. So it would be financial hardship. Or struggle to dash off debt or repay student loans. So struggle to get out of debt. Easy language, easy words. So it will be struggle to get out of debt or repay student loans. Pay off of cannot come together. There's already off here, Kumar. So you cannot say pay off here. Read the sentences. One one very common and very big mistake that students do in blanks is reading half sentences. They don't read the sentence till the full stop. They only stop at the blank and then they select their answer. This can lead you to make at least three to four blanks wrong in the exam. Please don't do that. No matter how sure you are that what is the answer, you have to read it till the sentence completes itself, till the full stop. Right? Any doubts? Okay, question number two on the screen. You have two minutes for this. Please post your answers.
Okay, you should be done. Two mistakes that some of you have done. We are excited to announce a new partnership with Social Behavior and Personality and International Journal SPP through this dash. So what did we refer to in the previous sentence was a partnership. So partnership can be referred to as collaboration, means coming together of two organizations or two teams, two organizations, people, everything can be called as collaboration, means partnerships basically. So through this collaboration, we have indexed SVP content in a unique collection on Science Open where it will be featured and placed dash the context of over 67 million other scholarly records. So some of you have written um, along here. So if you put along, it should, it should be along with the context, but we don't have with here. So we should rather go with, it will be placed within the context of, within means they are saying that there will be 67 other uh, scholarly records and in that one of them will be this one. So it will be featured and placed within the context of six, over 67 million other scholarly records. The dash of SBP content to the platform brings. So whenever we have a blank after the or a blank before of, we always put a noun in this case. So what is the noun that we have here? The dash of SPP. So we have only one noun. If we carefully see, it's only addition. We don't have any other noun here. So we'll go with the addition of SBP content to the platform brings dash 1000 high quality psychology publications. The sentence is complete. It brings 1000 high quality psychology publications, but still we have a blank. 1000 is a number. So let's see if we have something matching with the number. So we can go with over 1000, like they have used over 67 million. Same way we can say over 1000 means more than 1000 high quality publications with new issues dash each month. So there are publications, so new issues. If you're talking about something in writing, especially journals, journals are published and issued. So we'll say the new issues published each month. This partnership is a great asset to humanities and social science content on Science Open. The sentence is absolutely complete. We can either look for a connector because there's no need of a, um, adverb or adjective. So we'll say this partnership is therefore because we are winding up. We are referring back to partnership from where we started the topic. And in the end, now we are winding up the overall crux of this partnership. So we'll say this partnership is therefore a great asset. That because of all these reasons, it is a great asset. So that is how we conclude the topics with thus or therefore at the end. And in these writing styles, thus and therefore can come without a comma in this way, in third or fourth place of the sentence. When you conclude with having thus and therefore in between. These are the answers. First, partnership is being referred to as collaboration. Second, it will be one of the 67 million. So that's why it is placed within the context of. We needed a noun with the uh, word the and before of, and we had only one noun. The addition of SPP brings more than 1,000 publications with new issues published each month. And this partnership, when you refer back to the top and then you give a conclusion, whether it is good or bad, that is called a conclusion or winding up. So when we use this partnership is therefore a great asset. Any questions, anyone? All right. So here we have question number three. Thank you, Praminder. Question number three on the screen and you have two minutes for this. Please post your answers.
Okay, not many answers. Anybody left to post? So this says the total wellness initiative dash our belief and commitment to fostering a school environment conducive to the nurturance of our physical, emotional, and psychological well-being. So this is one initiative. It's a singular noun that means we need a verb with s here, and we had two verbs with s: affirms and attest. So attest is that we use attesting the documentation means getting it stamped for an organization from an organization or a, a person also that I know this person and whatever is written is true. So in that form, we use the word attest basically with documents. But this is total wellness initiative. So the answer will be affirms. Affirms in a way uh, means uh, confirming something that it also says yes to something in that this initiative, it fosters our belief. It, it uh, promotes the belief and commitment. So in that sense, we can use the word affirms here. It comprises an online resource directory co dash and produced by various stakeholders. So produced is already there. That is why we should not have gone with uh, formed because formed and produced means the same thing. Rather, the answer was curated. Curated means carefully selected, presented, and then so basically it also um, deals with selection. So if you go with the direct meaning, it means carefully selecting, organizing, and then presenting. So organized, selected, and presented. All three things together means curated. So it will be co-curated, but yes, it was a vocab-based answer. Co-curated and produced by various stakeholders within a school ecosystem and a physical environment modification component to improve the utilization rate of the online platform. Dash the total wellness initiative we aim to prevent mental challenges. What we have in capitals is with this initiative or through this initiative. So this is a method. So from methods, we use the word through. Through means by following something is when we use the word through. With is only with this. Like you can use with, with things. With the help of this stick, you can find the whatever. So with is using something and through is following something. So because this is a process, we should go with through. Through this initiative, we aim to prevent mental challenges by promoting mental health and dash self-care activities. So what do we want to promote? We want to promote mental health and we want to promote self-care activities. What kind of self-care activities? So proactive. Proactive is before you fell into any problem, before you face that mental, um, any, any negative situation from, for mental health, you have to be proactive. Proactive means plan ahead. Don't fall into that situation. And we need proactive self-care self activities through accessible, effective, and dash mediums. So what kind of mediums? We have method left. We have formed a test holistic intervention. There's only one word which can be used for describing medium. That is holistic. Holistic means overall, which involves everything, which takes care of everything in your body. That is holistic approach. So here it will be holistic mediums. Furthermore, it is a low-cost but high-scale intervention that is culturally adaptable and grounded in the needs of a community, making it an ideal dash for implementation in any country. This answer was simply based on the context because they themselves said that it is an intervention. We explained why is it the suitable one. It is low-cost but high-scale and also it is adaptable and grounded. These all things make it the ideal intervention which we should implement in any country. So these are the answers. The first one with a singular noun, we needed a verb with S. A test does not go with the context. So that's why we should go with the forms. Co-curated because curated, if, you, or if we put formed, it is same as produce. Something form and produce means the same. That is why it is curated, which means selected, organized, and presented all three things together. Then the third one is through because it's a process. So for processes, we don't use the word with. Through this process, we want to promote mental health. We want to promote proactive self-care activities and through holistic medium. So we needed a word to describe medium. It can be holistic means overall. 
and the last one because the context said that it is an intervention so we gave the reason that because of being low cost because of being high scale because it is adaptable it is grounded in the needs of the community this makes it the best intervention so it will be making it an ideal intervention because the text called this thing an intervention right so these are the answers any confusion anybody we cannot call it the method for the same reason that the text called it an intervention so we should not call it a method all right so we have the last question maybe the last one okay two minutes for this and then post your answers please All right, anybody left to post the answers?
The first one is there are certain dash and logical problems. So we need type of problem. Some problems are logical. Some problems are conceptual. They are based on concepts. Two types of problems with the idea that talent uh, contributes to dash human abilities. So there are some problems with this idea that talent contributes to exceptional human abilities. So the first one was we needed a word to describe a type of problem and we cannot describe a problem saying this is an exceptional problem. Exceptional means not very common. That's not a type of problem. And but yes, exceptional human abilities means some ability which not every human has that can be exceptional human abilities. So they say even among researchers who use the concept of talent for explanatory purposes, the evidence is based on. So what type of evidence is we normally have this uh, collocation type of words together. Supporting evidence is very commonly used whenever we talk about any research or any study. Even we have this supporting documentation is also a combination. The supporting evidence is based on its alleged dash. So whenever you have a blank after pronoun, possessive pronoun, that is his, her, its, you always put a noun in that case. So here a noun is its dash. So if we look at the options, we had only one noun, which is effects. The one that starts with A is a verb, effects. So if by chance you have effects and effects, both of them given. If you need a verb, you should select the one with A. If you need a noun, you should select the one with E, effects. Like many scientific constructs, talent is not observed directly, but is inferred. There is nothing wrong with this, but one must be certain that the findings cannot be dashed for more plausibly without introducing the talent concept. So with B should be third form of verb and there's only one that we have. So accounted for also is a collocation, but it's better to say that with B comes third form. So that is why the answer is accounted. Any doubts, anyone in this question? Sorry, Nitika, I wish I could Okay, so these were all the questions that we had to do today. Why not accomplish which blank, Neha? You can ask your doubts first for this particular question. So if you want to put human abilities, ability is not something that you accomplish. Ability is what you have. Accomplish can be used for your goals, your aims, your targets, your whatever you want to achieve that is accomplished. We don't achieve our abilities. That is why accomplish cannot come there. Right? Anybody else? Any conclusion in here? The one with E, E double E, this one is a noun. And if one starts with A, it is a verb. Effects is verb, effects is nouns. No worries, no worries. Those who are going, bye bye, take care. And do practice. We do have a class tomorrow at the same time, 6.30 p.m. according to Sydney time. And. You do one more test tomorrow. So those who are going, bye-bye. Take care. Good night. Come back tomorrow.